hi welcome now i am going to show you how to create class intervals and frequency distribution for a given data using um, frequency function okay so now uh, i explain to you what is the data i have i have a data of uh, student to 1 to 100 and uh, their respective marks this is what my data is all about okay so my each student's mark is here but now i want to have a class level of marks okay so what is my objective uh, my objective is to get a uh, interval of marks and what is the frequency lies in between every interval okay here uh, for example i have one to ten marks how many students has taken have taken uh, one to ten marks okay so uh, similarly for how many of them students marks lie between 11 to 20 in 11 to 20 interval okay this is the class interval and uh, the respective frequency okay this is my objective and if I add all the frequencies together I must get uh, 100 because I have 100 students okay so how can I uh, how can I uh, use a frequency function to do this class intervals okay this is very um, uh, simple if you know the array formula because the frequency function is an array formula okay we are going to use a array formula okay what is an array formula array formula is a function uh, uh, what is the array function? A function that accepts the arguments or the inputs as array and also delivers the output also an array. Okay, or it can be a single value also. So when you go for a array formula, it plays with the the input is with the range. Similarly, the output is also going to be a range. So you must know clearly that uh, your output cannot come in one single cell. It is going to come in multiple cells. You so you must uh, enter the pro formula properly and get the result properly from the output cells. Okay. Before that, uh, I will show you how to work on this. Uh, uh, first, uh, I will go and uh, write down the frequency formula. I am going to use the frequency formula here okay so before that what we need is uh, the frequency function uh, needs the uh, upper bound of the intervals okay it is uh, we are not going to give a 1 to 10 okay it automatically does we we are going to give a bin array that array is going to be 10 20 30 40 50 so on okay the first one it will take from all the least up to the upper bound of 10 then the next element is greater than 10 to the next element this is the way it is going to work so i am going to give uh, a bin array okay for a clarity purpose then later we will delete that one or hide okay upper bounds Ten. Okay, this is uh, it's not a numbers. So I just uh, keep uh, just uh, make the cells numbers. Okay, this is ten. This is twenty, thirty. So only the upper bounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what our uh, bin array. Okay, we are not going to pass interval class intervals. Instead, we we need to pass only the upper bounds. Okay, that is enough because it knows that first uh, first uh, element is ten. So the upper bound is ten, and less than anything less than ten is the starting point. And for the twenty, the upper bound is twenty, but the lower bound is previous uh, 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 the lower bound is greater than the previous upper bound okay this way it knows that what is the class intervals okay uh, so uh, we, we now we will going to apply the formula frequency
frequency you can see here calculates how often values occur within a range of values and then returns a vertical array it is going to return a vertical array having one more element than bins array it's a lot of bins array is here okay one one more element than bins array means what we are going to have is upper bound is 100 okay so it there could be numbers more than 100 for our case we are very sure that there won't be anything any marks goes beyond 100 so we, we can keep it for the set of uh, we can very well assume that uh, the our array size is the same okay like the class interval size okay so uh, before that uh, before you enter we know that our marks is going to be the range what we are going to pass it this is the range or uh, the set so what i'll do i just define a name for this marks define so instead of you get a range you can uh, define uh, uh, marks or uh, anything there then it will be very useful and meaningful when you pass into the functions so whenever you have uh, proper uh, ranges you just define a name and use the name instead of uh, every time go and drag the whole range okay so this range i just put a uh, marks okay now i'm going here uh, now i know this range is going to be an input uh, and uh, there is another input is the upper bounds but what is the output output is not going to be the one cell okay if you return a function here it is going to return only one value but instead we want it is the set of values so we know that for every class interval we want to return a value so this is also an array formula it returns an array so it has to be this way you you need to select all the cells whichever the output has to be okay so you select all the cells the first cell is active there you enter your formula so that you are telling the excel that uh, the function to come up with the outputs those outputs must be displayed in this set of cells okay so uh, i type in now frequency okay frequency what is the data array this is the data array but uh, you no need to drag it now because we already defined that uh, data array as marks i named the data array as marks already this is the data array see once i type in marks you can see this selected all the marks okay so marks and uh, what is the bin array? Bin array is nothing but the our upper bounds. Right? You give a name for this already, bounds, then you can just put the bounds here. Okay? Now, close the brackets. Now you have written the function already. You have written the function. Okay? But, how you are going to enter the function? If you just press uh, enter, it will be a single function but uh, this one is a array function array formula so you must enter press control shift enter don't forget array functions need to be entered control shift enter then only you will get a array of outputs okay now select control shift enter now you can see it written with a set of numbers frequencies okay these frequencies you, you once you return you can you can find uh, if once you can you can type in the formula control shift enter you can also see here the braces here you okay, see the braces here that means you are typing a array formula normal formulas are starting with the equal to sign array formula starting with uh, braces and equal to then uh, uh, the whole formula is enclosed by braces okay so now you can see it has given the frequencies so this is the class interval now i just hide this one if you want to 
okay so in between 1 to 10 it's only one student as marks between 1 to 10 11 to 20 no students but 21 to 30 a students has made uh, marks whose marks are in between 21 to 30 and so on so you sum it up and see whether it gives uh, uh, under students total students 100 so it's perfectly uh, correct so now uh, now we have co completed our objective that uh, to make a class interval so using the frequency function and uh, it comes perfect so, uh, I hope this video is helpful to you to work on your class intervals and frequency distribution uh, using the frequency function okay only thing you must be careful is how to use that array formula array formula is not a big uh, you know you no need to be panic once you understood properly with the some examples it will be very simple all you need to do is uh, you must keep clear mindset that you are sending um, array as input and also the output is also an array okay hope this uh, video is helpful to you and uh, see you on next video and uh, if you like my videos you can give a like and uh, you can subscribe to my channels and also uh, any comments suggestions you leave it there and god bless you